The Roundup is a sequel to The Outlaws from 2017. If you're unfamiliar, it is a Korean action thriller um, based off a true story about uh, Garabong police officers doing a super large operation to clean up the gang gangsters and then like arresting a whole bunch of them. So I didn't know that there was a sequel. I just found out about it and I decided to go to the theater to watch it. And this movie delivers. Uh, you don't have to watch the first movie to get this one, but a couple of the characters from the first one are here. So, but the movie doesn't alienate new viewers if you just want to watch this new one. Uh, this movie is about Detective Ma. After stopping a hostage situation, he gets suspended for excessive force. So his captain decides to go with them to extradite a small time Korean criminal in Vietnam. So they decide to go there, eat the food. They see this. They see the. This takes place in like 2008, so it sort of uh, talks about like the uh, state of the world. There's a lot of like world building in the sense that a lot of Koreans will flee to uh, Vietnam or Laos or the Philippines, Cambodia to avoid you know criminal punishments. But then they start their new crime wave in another country with with impunity because the police don't care. They're bribed. So. Detective Ma is trying to extradite this guy, but he gets wind of another killer who's doing some very terrible things, and he kidnaps someone. So he, you know, like a dog sniffing a good case, he wants to, like, bring justice, even though he has no authority in this other country. He should leave it to the Vietnamese police. Um, so this movie has amazing direction, which is really weird because it's a different director from the first movie. The first movie was written and directed by a different person. This one has a different director. It's like his, his first or second movie, and it's really great dynamic action sequences. There's at least four. Um, Don Lee, obviously, is the star of the show. He's like the new big action star, uh, you know. The last big action star was probably Jason Statham, maybe Mark Wahlberg, I'm trying to think of anyone else recent, maybe Michael B. Jordan a little bit, but um, Don Lee is like the Korean Schwarzenegger. He's got like a great big presence, physical, but he's also charming and funny. Uh, Mad Dong Siok or Don Lee also wrote a little bit of this movie, so it's really great to see him you know, flex his writing chops as well as his physical. But I really liked how the movie is a perfect balance of action and humor, great direction. Um, the movie, you know, is funny when it's uh, not action-y and it's really action-packed and like visceral when it needs to be. Uh, pacing's okay, uh, plenty of action sequences. Uh, I really liked the beauty of the violence. There's a weird sort of thing where this movie is pretty violent but it chooses to not be too violent. You know, uh, for example, this one character gets like their throat slashed and uh, you get like the silhouette of it happening, but it's not too gratuitous. Or a lot of characters will get killed uh, off screen, not off screen, but like they'll be like in the corner and then the blood will be like flowing into the, the killer's face and, and it knows when to be subdued and when knows when to be flashy. It's never too gratuitous and I really like that because it's a more accessible action movie for anyone to watch. So if you're going to watch this with your parents or something like that or your grandparents or like, you know, a teenager, it's not too bad. And uh, I really liked how the movie was really entertaining when it needed to be. It's a crowd-pleasing rough and tumble action movie thriller, crime thriller film that, you know, has a lot to go for it. And I really liked the charismatic star power of Don Lee. So I give uh, The Roundup an 8 out of 10.